Uh, so, cool. Let's get into it. All right, so we go middle tree for Firestorm. Uh, we grab all the, mag the Magma Golem nodes, obviously, because that gives us more health. Uh, I also prioritize grabbing all of the Unquenchable nodes for Skill Leech, because that's going to give us our healing. Uh, I like getting all the CDR nodes that I can, because being able to use more abilities means the higher fire uptime, which means healthier boy. Um, I grab the armor versus the dealing more damage with burn, though I'm debating going back and grabbing that one. I just haven't really pulled the trigger on it yet. Uh, I like the resistance compared to the weapon damage anomaly power. Uh, I grab the anomaly power per node, because you have all those. Uh, extinction lets me do more damage to low health enemies, which is nice. Then we have uh, Anomalous Lava, so basically using any of the skills that I like to use, I will get, you know, big buff to my armor. Uh, I have even better skill leech when I'm low on health. And then uh, my Ignite skills increase my armor piercing and resist piercing by 45%. Uh, I then have the two things that increase the amount of damage I do with burn. Or, uh, sorry, uh, with targets who are burned, I deal 20% more damage. I don't really know what I would probably swap off for Meltdown. Um, if I had to choose, mm, probably this, because I think that I deal a lot of burn damage where that would make a big enough difference, but I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't done the analysis there. Uh, for the gear I'm using right now, this is my main weapon damage because my, my firepower is such turds. Uh, I rely on Kinect Stomp and Ultimate Storm Whip to do damage. Uh, Ultimate Storm Whip, I kind of pace out my shots about once every second to get that proc, and then the Kinetic Stomp allows for everything around me to take big boy damage. Uh, if I think about it, I can also use this guy, the uh, Anamoy. I allows me to basically fire one bullet and then stow it away. Then when I want to, swap to it and then reload it. And at the start of the reload animation, I will deal around 500k damage, which is fun. I do not use the sidearm. Uh, and then I want to... So these, these armor pieces aren't exactly what I want. It's just kind of what I have. Uh, so Helm of the Akari... Gives me Fire Tsunami for the bigger width of the Firewall, which is great. I put on Seismic Impulse because that synergizes with my weapon, allowing me to do more stomp damage around me. Then I have the Armor of the Akari, which Detonator is kind of wasted. I'm not using Overheat pretty much ever, uh, but Damage Absorber gives me a little more Armor and Resistance, which uh, allows me to get really big physical damage reduction. Waste Cloth the Akari, Anomaly Echo, gives me just more Anomaly Power pretty much all the time. Uh, Etna, get one more Eruption, which is fun. Uh, and then these two are just kind of fill-ins. So Lava Shots uh, increase my Anomaly Power when it's active, which is all the time. I deal even more damage to burning enemies. And uh, Heat Wave, if they are impacted by that, they take 25% more damage for 8 seconds. And then Emergency Stance, if I go below basically 30% health, I get Golem and also double skill each because of my skill. So I'm pretty hard to kill. And that's what I'm currently using. Thumbs up emoji. There you go. Hopefully that answers questions.